two years ago, we became dads to the two most incredible boys. Fatherhood put us on an unknown path, but one that represented a dream we once had coming to fruition. Our successful journey meant you can do it too. It showed that no matter how hard the process and path may be, anything can be overcome and success can be achieved. You got it! Yeah. You did it! Oh, no, he doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> He's like, psych. Gracias. We created this channel to represent making something that may seem impossible, possible. And we do so by proudly representing the Hispanic and LGBTQ communities by shedding light on our family life, telling our stories of successes and failures, and helping bring joy to everyone that may come across our lives on YouTube and elsewhere. Little did we know that so many of you would touch us just as much as we had hoped to touch some of you. A year ago, we celebrated Dean and Devin's first birthday, just as cases were dropping and we thought everything would return to normalcy. Little did we know, a few weeks later, we would all go into lockdown once again when cases and a new variant started spiraling out of control. For most, including ourselves, lockdown was a very difficult and mentally challenging time. Just as we started venturing and socializing and sharing with friends and family once again, it was all taken away in the blink of an eye. We had to work hard on ourselves and dig deep to pull through such an emotionally trying time once again. I have no taste or smell, so I can't taste anything at all. It looked good, but I have no idea if it was good. I just feel textures, it's weird. We did as we'd done before and explored what we could, just the four of us, and that meant enjoying the beach and the beautiful salty rays as best we could. The boys loved the outdoors and the beach was no exception. One thing we continued was dancing. We are a musical family and we enjoy singing and dancing and we really wanted to push the love for music to our boys and so far it's worked. We now have two dancing stud muffins. Both Dean and Devin love music and especially love dancing to Selena, Vivo, and of course Encanto's famous We Don't Talk About Bruno, their absolute fave. These arts and songs have been the soundtrack of our everyday for year two. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. Our boys have definitely grown with time, which meant bigger car seats. They grew out of infant seats early on and required the toddler seat upgrade. They're also now forward facing, which means more interaction with not only their dads, but the views as well. Didi, happy baby. This year, we hit a huge YouTube milestone, our first year anniversary. This channel has truly been a labor of love for us. Although very labor intensive, we do it with so much love and passion. And at a minimum, it has brought us together with many more LGBTQ families. And we made incredible friends along the way. For Halloween, the circus came to town and we all dressed as clowns because let's face it, we're living in a real life circus. My sister got the boys a little special surprise. Can you die? You ready? Can you die? Let's see. <gasps> Who's that? Can you die? <laughs> we went all out with decor and added some special touches to make the perfect Halloween front yard decor. We visited a pumpkin patch where the boys loved dunking their fists and their faces in the corn pit. And they took part in their very first hayride. On the actual day, we had a small Halloween party with family in our front yard and took part in some trick-or-treating for the very first time with our boys. 
For Thanksgiving, we had a wonderful shoot in the park where a year prior, at the exact same location, we shot our itty bitty little babies. Can't believe how much they've grown. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. We had a very intimate Thanksgiving celebration with a simple few family members and it was as perfect as it could be. Boys enjoyed the company and the heaps of turkey and yummy goodness and we all enjoyed each other and the beautiful setup Daniel had created. <laughs> the boys enjoyed some exploratory fun at the Frost Museum with their buddy Jacob. They were definitely on sensory overload seeing new things for the very first time. <laughs> it was a great experience for them and we definitely like to push their boundaries and have them see, smell and touch as much as they can during this very critical growth stage. Before we knew it, Christmas was upon us, which meant time to decorate, and we definitely pushed the limits this year, incorporating some toddler hacks along the way. We had to toddler-proof our tree, as our boys were now grabbing everything they could wherever they went. So we propped it up with pallets, gift-wrapped the base, and it turned out gorgeous. We went beyond the interior and decorated the entire front exterior of our home and turned it into a magical wonderland. Boys visited Santa for the very first time, but they didn't seem impressed. We couldn't decorate our home without making the boys' nursery just as magical and bright than the rest. They loved the wall of lights and their custom Christmas decor put together by Poppy. Like it? I like it. I want that in my room. <laughs> wow. 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 On Christmas, to continue the car gifting tradition, we upgraded the boys' vehicles to vintage convertibles, which they could not get enough of. Dean, our car aficionado, always wants to ride his car, so we couldn't have given a better gift. New Year's Eve was here and we wanted to have an all out dance party. So we invited their uncle, aunt and cousins over, made some pizza and we had a dancing living room party till the clock struck 12. After scarfing down 12 grapes and some champagne, it was time for our yearly Cuban superstitions to make sure we all had a successful year full of travel and free of negative energy. Yeah. How did feel that better feel? Already. This past year, we really wanted to take a step back and really enjoy one another as a couple. We had devoted most of our time to our boys, but it's important to go back to where it all started when it was just the two of us and enjoy the small talk, the cheesing, and of course, venture out alone without our boys, as hard as that could be for us. We took part in a few date nights, attended the Vivo movie premiere, where we stood nearly hand in hand with Gloria Estefan. I am Gloria Estefan, AKA Marta Sandoval in the movie. After many delays, we were finally able to baptize our boys. We initially wanted them baptized as newborns, but couldn't make it happen due to recurring COVID waves and for the safety of everyone involved. We decided to incorporate our Cuban background and heritage into every piece of their baptism, which included traditional Cuban food, family heirlooms and photos, Latin music, tropical decor, and tons of coconuts, which required a hunt around Miami. For those that watched the full baptism video, the boys thoroughly enjoyed the coconuts and played with them throughout the entire ceremony. Weather was colder than normal, which meant we needed to add a tent to our backyard to keep everyone comfortable. It was a magical day with a reverend coming into our home and blessing our boys and our family. 
Faith has always been very important to us, so it was crucial we instilled that into our boys from early on. After the baptism and a radical drop in COVID cases, we finally were able to venture out beyond secluded parks and made our very first trek to Disney World with our boys. We both remembered Disney as being the most magical place on earth and we looked forward to the day we would one day bring our children. So it was truly a dream come true for us. It was everything we remembered and even more enjoyable watching our boys smile and laugh, especially on their favorite ride, It's a Small World. They lit up with smiles from ear to ear and truly enjoyed the magic in all its glory. Wow! 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 We enjoyed Disney World so much, we decided to take our boys to Disneyland after visiting family in California. The boys have many cousins, uncles and aunts, and of course, Daniel's grandmother Abu, who is now living with them. We learned from our Disney World trips on what to do and what not to do and decided to do a half day instead of a full day and join the rest of the family after the boys napped. It was a life changer. Boys were happy and energized and ready to take on the Disney fun. We had custom Prince Charming shirts made for Dean, Devin, their cousin AJ and their dads joined in on the fun. And all the female cousins wore princess outfits befitting the occasion perfectly. Boys enjoyed the parks with their cousins and of course, their favorite was still, It's a Small World. Bye. Bye. Wow. This year, for the Easter holiday, we decided to spend it together with the G family over in California. They are Daniel's sister, nieces and nephews, and of course, his grandmother Abu. We arrived a few days before Easter which allowed us to settle in, plan an amazing Easter holiday celebration. On the day of, everything was beautifully decorated in Easter decor, including backdrops, balloons, and a ton of greenery filled centerpieces, which touched all the five senses and made the setting incredibly special for everyone involved. Abu was glammed to the tea and looked more stunning than ever before. Although her memory has faded in her now 93 years because of Alzheimer's, her beautiful spirit lives on and the memories shared live within those she's touched throughout her life. We enjoyed her immensely and were so fortunate to be able to have our boys enjoy her presence as well and spend quality time with the entire California family. While in California, we also visited San Diego's Safari Park, where the boys and their cousins enjoyed learning about animals from all over the world and even rode a safari ride which ventured into the African savanna. High five. Yeah. High five. Yeah. As beautiful as life may be with our boys, it's not something that is easy or always fun and games by any means. Case in point, our poop catastrophes vlog showcased the not so beautiful pleasantries of fatherhood. Devin covered in poo from head to toe after a nap. It occurred more than once and more than we can even count by this point. But it comes with the territory as a parent and I'm sure many of you can relate as well. Time definitely flies and it was once again time to celebrate our wedding and first date anniversary. This year was our fourth wedding and seventh from our very first date. We went right back to where it all started on our very first date, except this time we had our boys in tow to celebrate with us. This is the table. Yard House was the destination and we were able to sit in the exact same seat we did on our very first date, a total full circle moment for us. The fair comes around our area every year and we can recall very vivid moments of fun with our family and friends. We decided to take our boys for the very first time and it was great to see them enjoying it just as much as we did as youngsters 
and we were able to take part in some rides and eat all the yummy goodness the fair had to offer. For their second birthday this year, we decided to revisit California and spend it with the G family once again. Because their birthday is so close to the 4th of July, we went with a 4th of July themed pool party, which included an inflatable water slide, bounce house, all American barbecue, games. Go! You gotta really go ahead and go You gotta, you can't touch it, you can't touch it, Aiden. You can't touch it! And a ton of extra goodies which ended with sparklers and s'mores by the outdoor fireplace. It was an unforgettable event and everyone had a great time celebrating our boys. We were also able to get some more family together we hadn't seen in some time, so it doubled as a family reunion of sorts. Happy birthday, What energy. <laughs> Year two was one for the books, and it sure was a whirlwind of fun and adventure as we left the confines of isolation and explored as much as we could. With growth came shifts in personality and our boys are the true epitome of yin and yang. Devin, may your shy and tender soul continue to explore and love all the blessings bestowed upon you. Thank you for always being so thoughtful and kind and bringing your family so much joy and laughter. May you always be so obedient and heartwarming in all the facets of your life. Dean, our sweet and spirited mischievous lover of all. May your clever wit never subside and take you on all the explorations your heart desires. Thank you for showering us with constant hugs and kisses, pushing us to feed you more snacks with your unending persistence. But most of all, thank you for allowing us to peek into your passionate heart and soul. <laughs>